It took a bit longer than with the Galaxy S10, but Android 10 has finally arrived for every variant of the Galaxy Note 10 and Note 10 Plus. I'm Hayato with Android Central, let's take a look at what's new in Android 10 in Samsung's One UI 2.0. In case you were expecting a total visual redesign, One UI looks basically the same as before, at least at first glance, but there are quite a few new and useful features at your disposal. Right off the bat with one of my favorites is Android 10's system-wide dark mode, which you can access in the quick toggle settings, just like the previous night mode toggle. This is especially nice since it enables dark mode in UI elements as well as in apps like Gmail. On the home screen, folders have been updated to be a bit easier to use one-handed, and there's a new preview icon when you're changing the color of a folder. There's also a new Places tab in the Phone app, which gives you a list of popular spots around your area similar to Google Maps. By tapping a location, you can get that business's phone number and address, see Yelp reviews, and even order delivery. Another welcome addition is Android 10's native gesture system. Just like on a Pixel, you can now swipe from either side of the screen to go back, or swipe up from the bottom to go home. Swiping further up will launch the multitasking screen, and swiping in from either bottom corner launches Google Assistant. If that all sounds like a bit much, and you'd rather stick with Samsung's gesture setup or the traditional three-button layout, those are luckily still options as well. There's a catch though, if you use a third-party launcher, you actually can't enable the Android 10 gestures for whatever reason. And while we're talking gestures, there's also a new way to launch the one-handed UI by swiping down from just above the home button, though you'll need to enable it in the settings before it'll work. If you're using the old three-button layout, you can instead configure one-handed mode to launch with a double tap on the home button. The camera app has been reorganized to be much cleaner, with most of the secondary camera modes like hyperlapse and super slow-mo now moved to a more tab on the right-hand side. It's much quicker to navigate, and of course you can reorganize the layout to put your most used settings on the main screen. There's also now a slow motion video option for your front facing camera, and the pro mode now lets you shoot up to a 30 second exposure versus the 10 second max in Android 9. The device care page has gotten a major overhaul as well, with a far more streamlined design that makes every section easier to navigate. Device care is a great part of One UI that was previously held back by a cluttered and messy layout, so this is a very welcome change. You also get some new edge lighting options with added animations and custom settings for adjustable transparency, width, and animation duration. Now, similar to what Huawei's been doing for years with EMUI, there's a new dynamic lock screen setting that lets you choose from any one of five themes to cycle through different wallpapers every time you turn on your screen. It's a fun way to have something new to look at every time you turn on your phone, and you can choose to let these wallpapers download over Wi-Fi only or over cellular every two weeks. Lastly, while I personally use Google Photos for my media backups, if you're more into Microsoft's products, you'll be happy to know that One UI 2.0 brings tighter OneDrive integration with automatic photo and video backups built right into the Samsung Gallery app. This isn't entirely new, since some Note 10 users have had this integration on Android 9 Pie, but it's now available to all Note 10 devices. That's everything new with Android 10 on the Galaxy Note 10, but if you're looking for a cheaper Samsung phone, we're going to be checking out the new Galaxy Note 10 Lite and plenty of other devices at CES next week. Be sure you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss when that coverage goes live, and until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.